All right, I see no flashing red lights. So that should mean hopefully no aliens killed my stuff in the in the meantime. Biters will pay for the wall with their lives, obviously. The biters will pay for that wall. Okay. So the next thing we want to look into getting is uh, military science packs. That's going to take, I think, steel, stone. Pushing rounds, grenade, grenades, and walls. Walls. Grenades. Piercing rounds. So. Thing I'm also wanting to think about is. My science production. I didn't set this up to be easily expandable. And I don't want to screw myself and I don't want to screw future Rand. So I'm trying to decide if I should redo reds and greens to be a straight line down so I can have, you know, reds, greens, um, military, blues, purples, kind of plan for uh, expansion later on. Um, I guess the question would be, for those who know Factorio better, as you get to the later research packs, do you get to the point where higher tech takes more reds and greens than it, than like blues and yellows? Like, does it get to the point where it requires more of the lower tier than it takes the higher tier? I don't... I don't remember. I guess maybe I could look at the tree. It always takes the same amount of every pack, right? Yeah. It always takes the same amount. Wow, artillery shell shooting speed, 2,000 of everything. Okay. Okay. It always takes an equal number. So, um, what we do need to take in consideration, though, is that you can only fit two types of research pack on a belt uh, and keep it evenly distributed. So, if I want to get militaries here, I would want to have, like, probably another belt on this side that would be like blues and militaries that we distribute this same way. Um, I can get rid of the steel production here now that I have uh, my own thing. Real steel production. Not fake one like this one is. So I guess the question is, I can probably keep this going for now. No, that's not a question, but a thing to consider is um, blues. What do blues take? Yeah, advanced circuits. That's going to take oil. This mall is going to be kind of hard to expand with the way I have it set up. Uh, including science, there are seven science packs which you can split across four belts. Four belts. Okay. All right. I'm kind of thinking I want to redesign this, or at least... Uh... I kind of want the reds and greens to be in a straight line, not wrapping around itself. That makes it hard to add stuff to it. Um, the other thing to keep in mind, though, also is if I want to do that, I'm going to have to probably adjust where my power is. And probably fill in this. So it might actually be better just to move this all over into a space where I can do it in straight lines. That might be the best way to do it. Rather than trying to, like, move all this stuff and make room, kind of just redo this build over so I can go straight, uh, straight down, if that makes sense.
Because I think that's going to be a lot easier to expand to. I guess the other question is, is for other people's builds, you know, you have the actual science packs. But those always take prerequisites that you pull off of your bus. Do people often do the parts that they need for the science packs and then the science pack production or do they like have the science I, I kind of want to look at other people's science pack production build just to give it an idea of how I want to lay this out is the stream having trouble or is it just local to you it's probably local to you Dave nobody else has said anything here is fine are, are you saying I should leave it here is that what you're saying I guess what I could do is um just my future ones put over here because this is this is working well, and I kind of don't want to get rid of this Maybe I can fit military in here, and then when I start with blues I can go blue purple yellow kind of like that Oh, you're saying the stream is fine Comcast unreliable. Yeah, sorry um, I have a feeling I one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Five, six, eleven of those guys. It's really up to personal preference. Your latest bill, you had the science packs of the main bus with the labs at the end. Ah, uh, you actually added the science packs of the bus. That's interesting. Okay. Um how much stuff am I gonna need to make the military's stuff? Piercing rounds, which takes Firearms, which takes iron, or it takes regular things, so it takes iron, steel, and copper. So that's iron, steel, copper. This is iron, coal. This is stone. Uh, that's a decent number of things I'd need to kind of scoot into this place. Okay. I think I might just leave this and start militaries over here, honestly. Maybe I can do the prerequisites to military in here. Throw them to the military production being here and then have the belt uh, with the actual, uh, whatchamacallits, actual packs come on in here. So, so we make the items in here, send the items over to our military pack production and then send the, the packs over to our labs. Because I kind of like Having the labs right here. Um, if I were to do that, that would be one belt of the packs. Be here. And that would be the military packs going in. Uh... And then these could distribute them, yeah. So that would be where the military packs come in. And we could add blues to this eventually. Oh, that's why I had that there. For that, okay. Um, this one... How far does this go? Almost. So reds, a red underground belt would go far enough. What am I missing? Wow, this take a lot of iron gear wheels. Okay. Dramatic music. Guess that wouldn't go there, but it could go like this to there. Okay. All right. So, so we're gonna set up military uh, assembly machines here. I wonder if I need to use higher level assembly machines. I've always been using. I've only used the level ones so far. So these guys do crafting speed. 0.5, 0 0.75. Um, 
I don't think I need, at least not for the packs, I want them to be the same speed as these. So I would do 11 of these. Or I guess I could do half the number of the higher quality ones. Well, it's not double the speed, though. So... Um... Let's see here. So I do, I'm doing 11 of each of these. It's such a weird random number I chose. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I don't know why I chose 11, but okay. Well, well, trust that Pass Rand wasn't just doing arbitrary num numbers. He was probably doing arbitrary numbers, but we'll just keep it the same and do 11 military research packs. Uh, it probably had to do with the number of things I'm making, maybe? I don't know. 11 is a prime number. That's probably why. Yeah, I'm sure Rand, past Rand, totally was thinking about prime numbers. Because <laughs> that's what I'm thinking about all the time. Well, how can I build something using prime numbers as my main gauge? How can I possibly do that? All right, do I have assembly machines here? Yes. Okay, so... Can I fit 11 here? I bet I probably can. Uh, I probably want to... Yeah, I'm going to want the output to be... Uh, I probably want the output to be on the left side so I can add the blues in eventually. So let's leave some space here. So something like this. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> let's have an unofficial count of how many times President Rand curses pass around in this playthrough. <laughs> There is a perfect science pack assembler ratio if I'm interested. Uh, am I interested in that? Probably not. I'm kind of enjoying figuring out my own ratios and stuff. Enjoying until I get frustrated and then I'll be like, just tell me. <laughs> um, okay, so science, these military science packs require three different items, which means two different belts. Can I fit that production and the two different belts to here? Uh, yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. So it'll be this and this. There and there. All right, so that will be the items we're feeding into it, which will come from um, build it in this little area, send them over. All right, if we can, um, how many how many raw resources did I need for this? Piercing round grenades walls. So we need copper, steel. Iron, coal, stone. I need five raw resources. You know what? I don't have coal in my main bus. I actually need coal in my main bus, don't I? Huh. I actually should have coal in my main bus. Let's get that set up then. I have to do another space for coal. I can't believe I missed coal in my main bus here. So, let's see. Can I just pull off of this? We're using a lot of coal here. If I'm gonna do that, I should add some more miners to this, so let's do that. That's just disconnected this guy. Let's do that. Let's have at least like two more miners here. Oh, always freaking out of shit. Stuff, man. Always out of stuff. Always out of iron. I can't wait till I have robots that auto refill my inventory. One of my favorite things about the the robots. You have like some logistics robots that just fill your inventory with uh, a set number of items when you run out of it. That's such a cool thing. Like five more of those. And then one, two, three, four. So I have a round number. Or even number. Or a number that I like. Alright. Uh, so let's see here. Yeah, 
so we'll just do like one here and here. There. There. All right, a little bit extra coal there, because we're gonna split off a bit of coal. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna eventually need more coal, honestly. Um. Because once we get into oil, that takes coal too. 6.4 million. So this is, I guess, our closest other source of coal we have, huh? Interesting. I guess I didn't up the uh, frequency of coal enough or something. Alright, so let's do just a splitter off here. And this will be to put coal on our... Main bus, which will be two spaces higher than this. So I'll go about two right here. Cluster of coal. This class cluster of coal will last for a while. Okay, well that's good. One, two, here. I will hope you are right. That will last a while, and that a while will be long enough. Okay. All right, so this is our next set of uh, things for um, our main bus. Do you believe that sneak through mod is working? Okay, because I wouldn't be able to go between some of these machines if I if it was if the squeak. I think it's called squeak through. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it is working. Okay, so that should be all the raw resources we need. Let's figure out how to make the three items we need for this. So, if I have 11 of these guys. Um, four iron plates, make them in a second. Three second crafting time on that. So, one firearm thing can actually supply three piercing round things, it looks like. I think I do want to do three piercing rounds, because I want extra piercing rounds that I can supply to my, um... to my turrets. Rand's Organic Factory built only with organic spaghetti, yeah. This is a little spaghetti here. Um, just because the water kind of stopped me from going down, I didn't, I didn't plan at the beginning how this per this part super well. Hopefully future stuff will be less spaghetti. If I can fit military packs in here, that should be the last of the like clumping in spaghetti we need to do, hopefully. Um Oh my gosh, Shogi just gifted five subs. Only the best free range spaghetti for us fine connoisseurs, that's right. Oh my gosh, thank you, Shogi. You crazy, crazy person, sir. How are you doing, man? Uh, let's see, 510. That's gonna be Dave the Demon, Vancho, Tyler said, Teacop, Silly Device, welcome and welcome back. Frickin' Shogi being his crazy, freaky Shogi. Crazy, freaky Shogi self. All right, let me uh, let me actually move these power lines. I feel like they're gonna be a bit in the way. Subscribing. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. Okay, so I can do that, and that would let me get rid of these guys. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. I'm not sure if there's gonna be enough room, honestly, because I'm eventually gonna need to add a third belt here. And uh, Forgotten Lords, thank you for the follow. <laughs> Appreciate that. Yeah, this is getting a little spaghettified in here. A little bit spaghettified. I have iron here. I don't need gear wheels for any of these things, do I? No, I don't. Okay. All right. All right, if I do them as close to this side as we can, we should be able to make this work, so... Let me figure out how I want to do this.
How spaghetti do I want to go? Because if one of these can supply three of these guys... I'm gonna need steel and copper for those. The game just erased all your blueprints? Oh man, that sucks, Muno. That really sucks. No, I wouldn't need- I, I, sh I wouldn't be able to want to go directly into there. I'd want one to make stuff and then... Output... To one... Two... Three... So that would be iron to here. And then we'd need steel and copper to here. Oh, somebody, oh, okay. That looks like that was an actual bot, all right. And I also need iron for the grenades, iron plus coal. Probably I should just keep that separate. Have an iron plus coal, then an iron by itself, because iron, iron getting to here is gonna be easy. We can just do this real easy here. Like this. And then we do the output of this to here. And that will be the regular guys here. And then we'll need another belt here with the iron plus coal. Which would be this belt right here. What was the... Yeah, it was LDP1220913, I'm sure is a bot. That got timed out for doing a link. Hello, fellow human. Do you enjoy spaghettis as eating with your normal hands as well? <laughs> Hello, human. I am totally another human who likes to eat human food. I am totally another human who likes to eat human food. How much do you enjoy human spaghetti? Do you enjoy human spaghetti as much as I enjoy human spaghetti? Okay, what I'm gonna do... I'm going to pull off of this guy. Into a coal that goes right here, I think. So if I do that, that's going to feed iron onto one side. Cut. I think I was... There was a thing about you're not supposed to do it that way. So, uh... I think I will go over one space here. I think I think that can screw you up if you do that. Um, that when you mark to sync the blueprint and seek that that I got none. Whoa. Okay, that was a weird sentence. Okay, if I have the coal go down here, coal on one side. I can have just run into it and go around there. So if we go, like if this was coal on the left side. Then this would work. Is that right? It's not coal, it's steel and what am I doing? This is not iron. Uh, stop it. I don't want this. This is the wrong thing. I want coal and iron for grenades. This needs to be steel and copper. I got the wrong thing going here. I will have to split this off, I think, for something else, but not not this. This needs to be steel and copper. Oh, that sound. Oh, that sound. That's not my steel production. Oh, no. Oh, they destroyed something over there. Hopefully, it's just a wall. Oh, it's actually my turret. It's actually my turret. Being that way only works if the incoming coal belt is already limited to the one side, right? Yeah. Which I could probably make happen. Whoa! Holy crap! No wonder it died. That's a lot of freaking things there. Okay. Well. Okay. I'm glad I had two turrets here. Let's put. Three turrets and a wall. 
And we're gonna have to go clear out some some dudes here soon, it looks like. Yeah, be grateful my be grateful my, my smelting is alive, yeah. Okay, alright, so. Uh, let's do this one here. This guy here. And then this guy here. Okay. Just did an upgrade to shooting speed, which probably actually saved us right there, honestly. And they'll pay for that wall. That's right. Hashtag double up the wall. Um, Sure, that was a lot of biters. I'll, I'll double up this wall. I should probably even enclose these guys. There. Okay. We'll go find where they came from eventually. Uh, for now, we'll leave that. That should that should defend us for now, hopefully. Send the wall a bit further. They try to go around walls and attack the turrets. Never mind. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, we, uh, we, we'll do the wrap around. The wall wrap around there. All right. We got some steel going though. This steel is juicy. Two turrets are engaged with the enemy. All right. They attack that immediately. Perfect. Uh, that should depend de defend me for now while we get this uh, military research, and this military research will help because uh, we'll be making piercing rounds to deal with these guys. So, so I need steel and copper, steel and copper to go along this line. So, there's steel. Best way to do this would be have a splitter of the copper that runs into a, a steel line here. Let's do it back a little bit. Need some more underground belts. Let's do it somewhere like around here. Give ourselves some room to work with. We can do a split. Um, and I guess the way we can do it this way is if I go like this. That would get it onto the side. Is that going to be the best way to do it? Um, that might actually work. If I were to go... Like this. Whoops. Like this. There we go. I think that will work. I think that's something similar to what I saw in the um, um, <clears throat> tutorial thing I looked at. That works pretty darn well, I'll say. I'll go with that. Not perfectly lined up, but that's okay. This gives us a little more space to work with for the other things we need. That gives us copper and steel, which will get these guys going. And this can go directly over to there. It'll be this, this, this. So there'll be one thing on there. And then we need grenades and we need walls. Um, I have wall production over here. I wonder if I would just want to leave this wall production and not do a separate set of wall production. Um... I mean, I guess we have the stone bricks on the line anyway. There's probably... Um... No, it's probably good that I have this be separate. I have that storage. I can cancel that if we have, like, so many walls that we don't need to worry about anymore. Okay, so... How many wall production things do I want? If I'm doing three of these guys, what's the speed of this? Three second crafting time. 0.5. Okay, so this is going to be a lot faster, so... Three of these guys. So I'm going to get one of these a second. So if I do... If I want to get the same amount, I would need two stone brick things making here. Alright. So I could probably do that. What do grenades take? That's the one that takes the colony iron. And these are 8 second crafting time. 
Hmm. Oh, it's even longer than that one. So the grenades are going to be the one that slows us down if I want to get the same amount of production for each one so it's even, which I do want to do. So three of these guys. So I would need eight of these guys if I want one a second. Because that's what I'm doing, right? Yeah, one a second. Eight of these guys. Can I fit eight in here? That'd be tight, but I could. Get it right, get it tight. Um, hmm. Let me see here. Where could I fit eight of these guys? I'm really, I'm really jam packing these walls in here. Uh, you know what? Let's do the uh, stone. I don't want to do it here because, like, like I said, I'm gonna to want to have a third third thing here eventually, I think. Let me actually put this here. This is going to be eventually where I'm going to want to have a third belt of packs. Which, would longhanded inserters even be able to fit this? If I do creative use of underground belts, I will be able to do it. But I'm going to do that just to have, have my space there. I'm probably going to need a fourth too, but eventually we're probably going to have to just move all this research somewhere else anyway. Again, spaghetti time is best time, right? So, uh, let's see here. There, this will be gr uh, not grenades. Gr uh, this will be walls. Is that right? Yes. So we only need two of these to get one a second. This is just going to be stone. Uh, that's not going to work. It has to be like this. Shift right, shift left. Okay. Now we can combine walls with these guys. You only really need the one wall assembler produces two a second. Why did I think I needed two? Three second crafting time. So if I have three of these, I'll get one a second. Uh, 0.5. Oh, okay. Yes. I had it backwards. So this will create one a second, which is exactly what I need. Yep. Good call. Thank you. You're right, I only need the one. I can do it like that. And then I can do this. And this can go, those will go on the left side, so this can go like this. And that'll fit two things on there. So that'll be walls and the other thing. And then I might be able to fit in actually my eight crafting things here to make the... Uh, grenades so let's see can I fit eight crafting things here to get grenades no nah, I can't fit eight in here I'd have to do another wraparound thing which I might just do just to use all the space in this mall Okay, let's see here. Oh god, trying to make this all fit in here is a terrible idea. Whose idea was this anyway? <laughs> uh, let's see if I go sideways here. Uh, Jesus. Why am I trying to do this? If I had the side inside inserters, I could do that. I could do this. Um... Eventually you want stack inserters, them and the rails are hungry suckers. Need plenty of inserters in the machine, it takes 10 seconds. 10 per second. Uh, so I'm gonna need, your. I think what you're saying is, hopefully the fast inserters will do it. Or stack inserters. Do I have stack inserters? I have stack inserters. I don't have advanced circuits yet though. Can I make any advanced circuits? 
What do those require? Probably something I don't have, right? Yeah, the plastic bars, which is oil-based stuff. So that's the fastest I can do right now. All right, um, screw it. I'm just gonna put it right here. I'm just gonna put the things right here. So. Here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that what I need? Eight. If I want one grenade a second, I need, yeah, eight second crafting time. That's, I need that much. Okay. All right, so these are gonna be grenades. Shift right, left, 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 left. This will be the output. We'll just wrap around here. Actually, if I do this, I can have it directly go in and I don't need the double line. You know what, let's do that. Uh, no, that's not gonna work because it's going into different ones. Okay, that's not gonna work. So we'll just do this. Okay, like this, like this. There. Okay. So that'll be our grenades. I have research I need to get going. Okay. Uh, insert a capacity bonus. Lab research speed we can't do yet. Lasers we can't do yet. All right. Well, it's a good thing we're working on this because we're about to be out of out of research we can even do with our current stuff here. So. And this is going to be the inputs for this. Okay, so we need to get our bus extended over. So let's let's do that. Uh, I'm going to need a lot of belts. I'm going to grab all these belts off the line here. Give me all them belts. When I extend everything, I like to extend my uh, my actual bus, so I don't run it over anything here. So just get all these belts going here. And eventually, we'll have uh, robots that will do this for us. We'll just, we can just, you know, do a... Oh god, something's getting attacked. Okay, it's just, okay, it's just a walls. It's fine. Walls, they're there to be attacked. It's fine. Uh, my friend Tim last night told me about a game that he's gotten really excited about called Dwarfheim, which looks interesting. It's like a real-time strategy game, but three friends can play together. And one does factorial style resource collection. One does building and one does uh, like army management. Looks pretty cool. Dwarfheim, H-E-I-M. Looks pretty interesting. Okay, and that's everything but the coal. Okay, good. And we need coal and iron for this last thing. Okay, there we go. And this is our bus. Looking looking clean. Look at that clean old bus. Uh, how much iron did I pull off over here? Just the one. So I think in order to... A quick and dirty way to rebalance is to... Do I want to do a rebalancer here? We're pulling off from the sides. If I actually pull off from the middle here, I don't probably need to rebalance too much. Sounds interesting. Definitely going to check it out. Yeah, looks really cool. Looks really cute. Um, let's see here. So it's probably going to be something like this, this, and this. We want to get coal and iron on here, and we'll be good to go. So if I had coal on the left side, I could put... Uh, yes, I could have it go like this. How could I do this? I need to go... I always, I always do this one space off of what I actually want it to do. And 
there, there, so I can split you off there, have you go there, and then now, if I have coal on the left side, this will work. So, to get coal on the left side, I want to put a splitter left side. Um, oh, I know there's a good, better way to do this. Uh, left side. Do I need to wrap it around to do what I want to do? I want to get coal on the left side right there. How do I get coal on the left side there? I split and then turn it around. That's what I do. So I split right here. I think I have to do it like this. Damn it! It's not gonna work. I need it to be... Oh, I know there's a way to do this. I know there's a way to do this. Okay. Uh, how do I get it? There's probably a clean way to get this on the left side here. What is that clean way? Did I do it at some point earlier? It's like this. That's what it is. Okay. Excuse my brain that can't figure stuff out sometimes. Excuse it. No, that's not it. What is it? What did I do? It has to go down one space. Okay, well I have to- okay. The problem is I need to go underneath this thing, so I guess the the problem is I need to I need to get rid of I need to make room here, so I need to do like this. This is my issue. These guys are in the way. You're in the way. Get out the way. Get out the way. So it's like this, this, this. There it is. That's what I need. That right there is what we need. Then we can go underground here. And we have our two materials. Beautiful. Okay. There it is. Okay. All right. So we should be able to power everything and... I need to get these resources over here. I need to get, um... I need to get these guys in. So, do I need to do fast? I don't think I need to do fast, because I'm pretty sure these things don't go fast. This is going to be coming. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go where I want you to go, please. Okay, yes. And then red. Red, 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 red. Whoops. Okay. So that should be able to get things. Uh, I just need to get this belt of this stuff over here. Okay. And I can do a similar thing with the red underground belt here. There. This. Again, a little bit of spaghetti. But as Pie Boy likes to say, don't be upsetty. Have some spaghetti. There we go. Okay, that should be all our belts hooked up except for the output of these guys guys, and I didn't figure out output. Oh, no, I didn't even do output because I got this stuff all in the way. Oh, I'm so dumb, man. I did not. Chat, why didn't you tell me? The one time I need backseating to say, hey, by the way, where are you going to output this stuff? 
Oh my god. Um Okay, uh, if I do clever use of underground belts, I actually can do this, so this is gonna be a little goofy, but that's what I'm gonna do, because, um, uh... all right, we're gonna, because I don't want to move all of this stuff, I'm pretty sure this will work. By the way, we're gonna put the output of that stuff. Thanks, but no, thanks. <laughs> Freaking chat. All right, I think we can do a similar thing with what we did with the steel, the coal picking up. I'm pretty sure this will work. And then this one can be at the end here. Okay. Hashtag blame chat. That's right. Always. Chat will be blamed. Always. All right, so this works, right? I believe this should work. I should probably check this. This this yellow line means it'll pull from there, right? Yeah. Yeah, when I mouse over it, that yellow line shows up. That should... Should work. So, output's gonna go... We'll go around this way. Pick up all the stuff. More spaghetti belts because that's what we do around here. We frickin' spaghetti all the things. Okay. Alright. There we go. Underground belts to... Underground belts and spaghetti to save the day, right? I think that's all good to go. I think I plug things in and we should be good. Although, I didn't plug in what? This needs to be... Okay, I just need to plug these guys in. I think it's just plugging stuff in. Let's do it. Okay. Alright, so I should start seeing some of those guys. Very nice. I wanted to have, like, extras of these. I'll figure that out of, like, pull some off the line for extras of those eventually. Uh, I didn't get the stone for this, though. Just need stone for that. Uh, so I need to split off stone to be right in line with this right here. Okay. Which line is the stone? I need more underground belts. Need fasteners for regular rounds input, you think? Let's see. Yeah, it's very slightly too slow. Good call. Thank you. Hashtag think chat. Hashtag blame chat. Hashtag think chat. Alright, so this is where stone is gonna go, and I got no belts. Where are my belts at? Where are my belts at? <sighs> Alright, so that's gonna be... Whoa, 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 That's not gonna work. This guy's not getting some materials here. So, it looks like we're gonna need to do... This. Do I need more, um, how many this is? How many is this a minute? Do I need, do I need that for these guys? Are, are regular surges enough for the, uh, for stone walls? I guess I'll find that out. All right, so stone walls here. I need a splitter. I can do this. That works like butter. Fits like butter. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so that should be walls and... Piercing rounds going one... Basically one a second. If the speed is good enough, I guess. You remember walls taking a while? Okay, yeah, that looks like that needs a fast insert or two. There we go. Yeah, fast insert. Looks like it's just about fast enough there. 
Okay, that's one a second. That's what we're looking for. Okay, so that's good. And then I need to power all of these freaking things here. All right, so let's get started with the these guys here. Yeah, let's get go there, there. air automated rails wood wagon get that started skip one skip one okay that looks good Okay, let's see. Let's see. Do we have military science packs going? We need the grenades to start showing up. Yeah, these are definitely slow, but that's what we got eight of them. So we get one a second with once they start going. Okay. I feel like that might not be enough grenade production, but I think it'll take a while for this to all get spun up and go in here. Hey, I see these machines turning on. Okay, okay. Uh, it's one of each of these, right? You know what? I hope I didn't... Um... Oh, God. Entity is destroyed. Okay, we'll come back and check on that. We gotta go check on... Oh, it's over there. Okay, got my iron stuff there. Let me get some more turrets going. Turrets going. Come on, come on, come on. Let's destroy my stuff. It's not one per second, it's four. Once your assemblery has 0.5 speed. Okay, well... Okay. Well, since I... All of my... So, everything I'm saying is half, then. So, so instead of one per second on all those things, it's 0.5 a second, right? Because I'm using the same tier on all those guys. I might, I maybe should upgrade all those to the tier twos, though. Oof. All right. Oops. All right. How are we doing up here? You okay? Okay. Wow. Where are they coming from? I'm guessing it's up here. All right. Uh, we do need some like uh, uh, the uh, armor piercing round. Start distributing them. I guess that is a lot of freaking dudes, man. A lot of freaking dudes. Let's go one, two, a second one here, and a second one there, and let's put walls around these guys too. All right. So um. Control, right click, right click, right click. Okay. All right. If uh, if this military research is looking good, I think I'm gonna go out bug hunting again because they are uh, they are getting aggressive. They don't like my pollution. Flamethrowers or nukes? Can I get any of that stuff yet? I don't think I have access to the flamethrowers. Because I'm pretty sure that takes a while, right? Pretty sure I can't quite do that yet. Where's that happening? I said they were engaged. I guess that was just from right here. Okay. So let's go. Uh, let's go see if my military stuff is looking good. Because if it is, we can start. This should unlock us doing some of that research, so I can unlock the flamethrower. The problem will just be I can't actually build it until I get oil going. Which, maybe we'll have time to do. That's probably the next goal I want to get is get oil. But oil, I know, can get pretty darn complicated. Because the oh, the uh, refineries and stuff is... Whew. I need to make lots of space and prepare 
the fluid flow in a good in a good flowing way, I don't know. Okay, looks like our power production is keeping up, so that's nice. Stone production is being used up. Oh, uh, yeah, we actually aren't producing enough stone. I was a little worried about that. Uh, but we do have the military si uh, the military packs, so that's good. We have military packs. Uh, can I increase this stone production at all? Uh, this guy was made for these walls. Basic oil processing isn't that complicated, but it certainly is ugly and intimidating. Yeah, we've done it a couple times. Each time it gets, gets pretty crazy. Okay. I think what I do is... This is a- we have a nice stockpile of walls that we can use for ourselves for a while. I think I'm gonna redirect this stone to go up here. So, how do I do that? Do I just do a splitter off of this and have it feed into that? That's probably what I'll do. Again, quick and dirty, but... This will help our... Stone production increase, hopefully by a decent chunk. Get more stone there, and do I want to get more furnaces now that I have more stone incoming? I probably should do that. Can I fit any more furnaces here is the question. Uh, if I wrap around here, I could get like two more. Let's do that. Uh, steel furnaces. Yeah. Oops. There. There. Mm. Ah, there is no power right there. Okay. Do this one here then. Instead of that. Alright, so there that doubled our stone brick production. Probably still not enough. Uh, maybe. Probably maybe. Alright, but let's start doing some of this military stuff. Combat robotics, not gonna be super useful yet. Let's go flamethrower here. Maybe we can get a flamethrower online by the end of the day, we'll have to see. Um, but that does get that going. Um, so let's... While we're now starting to do some military research, let's actually get a bunch of ammo. Let's go clear out a couple more nests, because that right side of our base, where our steel production is, is getting... It's getting attacked. Do I have any piercing armor rounds I can use, or I can grab? Oh, uh, there are some here. Probably not enough to to really be a appreciable amount. So let's get... I have so much coal in my inventory. Can I throw this coal anywhere? Speaking of coal, are we looking okay? Yeah, it looks like we're looking good. So we can just do, like... You know what I haven't done? I haven't done modular armor yet either. I wonder if with steel I can actually do that. Let me see. Yes, I have modular armor, but it takes advanced circuits. Ugh. Okay. We almost have advanced, uh, whatever. Immunity, belt immunity, yeah. So a bunch of good stuff I can get going once I get oil. Oil is definitely the next goal. Uh, so we're going to start that probably after we go... Uh... Kill some, kill some things. I'm gonna get rid of these guys because I feel like they don't ever come in here. Yeah, it takes plastic. Plastic, plastic, plastic. Okay, so we got some dudes up there and we know I think there's got to be some stuff over here too, so... Time to go bug hunting, everybody. Bug hunting. Did I make another heavy armor? I did not mean to make that. Oh, I equipped my crappy armor. I need a crappy chest that I can put my crappy stuff in when I'm not crappily using it. So, crappy wooden chest right on the ground over here. Throw this in. Um, burner mining drills we don't need. Stone furnaces we don't need. What other crappy, crappy stuff do I not need? Uh, we sometimes use the burner inserters. Maybe some of this. Whoops, not the copper. No! <laughs> 
Tilt and control, I guess. Armor. Okay. Uh, before you head off, you may benefit from placing some of the stack of radar up near your mining outpost. They provide vision and better coverage. Oh, okay. Does that help um, spread out our view better? I'll, I'll take like two of these up there. I thought those didn't matter where you placed them, but... Refined flammables. Potent potables. Uh, you were hinting at that, but he doesn't seem to want to use grenades. He was hoping for the flamethrower. Uh, well, I mean, I did just make a bunch of You know what? Let's, sure, let's grab some grenades. I mean, I can make some. I just gotta grab some coal. It's not that I don't want to. I just, I forget. I forget. I look at those as like a resource to be, you know, made into other things. I forget that I should use them as weapons. I'm not a smart man, Janae, okay? Yeah, let's get some grenades going. Uh, grenades work kind of weird though, right? Like, you need to, um... You throw them like this, you don't put them on your bar, right? Yeah, grenades are not ammo or a weapon, they are actually an item you throw, I think. They only scan within a specific, specific radius of their location, so stacking them up will keep rescanning the same area faster, okay. Oh no, wait. No, that's where my turrets are. Ah, it was just a, it was just a, it's just a wall, just a wall. I see the red triangle. I think. Oh, they, they are damn. No, <laughs> what are you doing? I just removed turrets over here, and they immediately sneak behind. Oh god, they're killing my freaking, they're killing my freaking things. How did they get over here, man? Damn bugs. Like gnats. Ooh, wow, we sure killed them quickly though. How the hell did you guys get over here? Where did you come from? Snick through here or something? I don't know. If you if you show up here, I'm just gonna put one turret here. Put some walls around it. Put a little ammo inside of you. Uh, so it's control, right click to put half. Right? So that should be 50 rounds in there? Good. Operation Wall in the Spaghetti Factory. Soon, soon, TM. I don't think I have enough walls yet. Although, actually, I, you know, I probably do have enough walls. <laughs> so maybe I will. After we clear this out, before I work on oil, maybe I'll do spend a little time on a wall setup. Biters are smart, they will always, they will find, uh, uh, find a way. As, uh, <laughs> what's his name from Jurassic Park says. They'll also zoom you in and see details from the map if you are in the area. Oh, the, uh, what are we talking about? We're talking about the radars, yeah. Alright, so let's put these. Like right here, work. Yeah, so that should start expanding it out this way, I believe. Jeff Goldblum. That's right. Jeff Goldblum noises. There was a... Uh, <laughs> my brother posted a... Uh, some Jeff Goldblum thing from Saturday Night Live. It was like... Kind of like Deep Thoughts with Jack Handy, but it was like... You know... Alone time with Jeff Goldblum. And it was going... Some, it was something like this. Jeff, uh, Jeff Goldblum goes... You know, people always ask me... Uh, is it pronounced Jeff Goldblum or Jeff Goldblum? And I always tell him the same thing. How dare you talk to me? <laughs> I thought that was... Uh, I thought that was absolutely hilarious. How dare you speak to me? I always tell him the same thing. How dare you speak to me? Alright, so how good are grenades here? How... Grenades are probably better to use against non-movable... Uh, immovable objects, so I, I'm assuming I want to throw this at their homes. Blow up their homes. Okay, so let's like do one here. Uh, uh sorry, uh, Moodenho. Why'd you get timed out? I thought you were a freaking. I thought you were a freaking sub! Sorry, bro, sorry. Uh, I don't think we have anybody here who can untime you out here. Give me a second. 
Let me let me pick this up, and then I'll untime you out, sir. Oops. Okay. There we go. Sorry. Re redo that thing, Moonho. Redo that. Okay, let's see. Let's see how well this works. Okay, you, that's why I don't use grenades. That's like nothing. It's like freaking nothing. I mean, I guess it... It's actually good against the non-moving targets. The, uh, the biters themselves, it seems like. Not very much damage versus the actual nests. It's probably why I didn't use them much. Does not seem that good, honestly. Honestly, it's not even that good. Shoot and throw grenades at the same time. Oh, really? Oh, how about this? Okay, all right. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Still, you go through them really quickly, but okay. Oh, we got the... These are upgraded biters now, aren't they? These are the big boys. These are biters mark two, whatever they are called. Splash damage is pretty nice, too. Protect me! Haha, <laughs> I have bodyguards. Turret bodyguards. Okay. Alright, let's do a little bit. Uh, we're probably gonna, like, reveal this in a bit with the uh, radars. Well, let's just check if there's anything else over here. Got some more iron up here. Let's just see if I see anything real fast. Any other biters that might. Aggro our stuff over here. Oh, I see a biter. I see ya. Where'd you come from? If there's one, you know there's more. Or were you just a lost immigrant? Came from this way. There's gotta be something over here somewhere. Maybe? There's or not? How the hell did you get over here by yourself? I wonder if that one got separated. Trying to get to our base. Or something. Okay. Alright, well, I'm not gonna spend all my time searching over there. I have a feeling there's something over here. Yeah, there we go. There's a small nest. Which might be close to another larger nest. So let's go clear out some more of those. That is an undocumented alien. That's right. Uh, are the chompers the upgrade to the biters? <laughs> uh, starts as biter, then becomes chomper, then becomes entangler. It maxes the clamps. Give him the clamps. Clamp, clamp. Yeah, uh, clamps. Bender's best friend. Okay, we're gonna go straight out this way and then down here. All right. Can I make any more explosives while I go? No, I used up all my coal. I've always thought that for how um like, kind of pixel art this game is, the animations in the game seem pretty darn good to me. Like, I, always, I always felt like the animations of, like, the running and the and the little factories working look pretty smooth. That is a lot of copper. All right. Okay, I see some... I see a big nest over here. Okay. Oh, no. What's being damaged? Okay, I hope you stop that. Please stop it. Since there's a turret being damaged, surely you will kill the stuff, right? Okay, good. Alright, hopefully they came from here and I'll be clearing them out. Okay, this. Oh, Jesus, man. Oh, God, that's... Oh, frickin' hell. 
Ouch. Frickin' ouch, man. Well, that turret got destroyed. Alright. Alright, there's three of us working together. We got... Okay, at least it's still small worm. Oh gosh, that's a lot of worms. Yeah, it's the big biters that are doing it, and I don't have the, um... I don't have the, uh, whatchamacallit yet. Uh, I don't have armor-piercing rounds to use here. How much ammo do I have? Okay, 92. Let's put that in there. Okay. Really going to need piercing rounds for this? Yeah, um... I might be able to do this. I might have just enough for this. We'll find out. We'll see. We'll see if we have enough here, I guess. Whew. Run away! Let's move these guys up a little bit. There. Ah, oh, frickin' poison crap everywhere. Oh geez, that hurts, that hurts. Oh god. You gotta go. Is it Ninja Warrior who waits? Alright, Zelly. Enjoy the Ninja Warrior, my friend. Enjoy. Thanks for hanging out. Okay. Just this. Slowly move them forward here. Kill the worms that we need to kill. Okay, get in range of this. Okay, nice. Now they're covering me as I take this out. All right, good. There's one down. Uh, remember to catch some fish when you get back. Yeah, uh, yeah. If I need to. Oh. Do I actually have any fish? I wonder. I think I had some earlier. I think I caught one and then ate it. Nice. I can kill this without being in. Oh, I'm just in range actually. Alright, nice. Oof. Let me save. It's getting a little sketchy here. How am I doing on ammo? 29? Okay. I think I can clear out the rest of this nest. Between the, the ammo in here. Possibly. Almost got that one. Oh, Jesus. Alright, that guy's down though. 100 grenades solves a lot of problems. I don't know if 100 would be enough, honestly. Uh, I had I had four. Okay, here's the other one. Okay. Spitter spawner, it says, huh? Got four grenades left. Good. Okay, all right. Almost there, man. Almost there. Oh, God, my ammo's getting low. Let's grab some of this. All right, how many more? Oh, jeez. 
Okay, you're one more shot. I'm dead. There it is. Okay. Alright, three more of these guys. Oh god, the I thought the the one below us was small, but it's pretty big too, so we're not gonna probably be able to do one after this one. We're gonna just be out of ammo. Almost there. Got it. All right. Okay. Okay. Call in an orbital strike. I need it. Hey, thank you for continuing your gifted sub, Moonho. Appreciate that, my friend. That's awesome. Okay. Worms are the scary things. Almost got gotcha. you. Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's sticky and gross. Stop spitting on me. All right. Oh, God. Oh, we are low. Uh, I need to let my health re regen for a bit. <laughs> oh, God. Did I see the gif that you sent? The gif. Oh, is that what you were trying to link? Oh, <laughs> Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> Listening to Jeff Goldblum's chest as it breathes. That's hilarious. <laughs> I've never seen that. That's funny. That's awesome. Oof. Come on. Come on, come on. Uh. Gotcha. <laughs> That's pretty hilarious. This... A little bit closer. Ah, that's not gonna work. Okay. Do I have any more ammo on me? I can make 20 more, one more rounds. Oops. There. Okay, let's just keep these two up as close as we can. Shift. Troll. There we go. Okay. One more dude. Now two more of these guys. Almost got him. There we go. You're dead. Your last two grenades. AoE damage. Eat it. Nice. Okay, we did it. Oh. Okay, all right. Whoo boy. Weapon shooting speed, projectile damage. Let's work on. Ooh, energy shield's really nice too. Oh boy, man. Yeah, let's GG Cookie Time surviving that actually. <laughs> GG Cookie Time, we're not dead. Actually, two more nests. We need to get, um,. We need to get armor piercing rounds if we want to go clear those out. And I kind of do because I'm pretty sure they're going to keep attacking. I think that's where they're coming from. And now I can make a flamethrower. Well, I can, but I don't have oil, right? Don't you need oil for that? Pretty sure you need oil to make a flamethrower. Yeah, ammo. Well, the ammo, you need crude oil. Yeah, I'm in the desert. Yeah. So I would... I would need to get... I mean, I could just get some crude oil. I might be able to get some crude oil real fast. Um, uh, it's a chemical plant. That's gonna take... It's gonna take some work. Can you plant trees? Uh, no, but in modded you can. I actually I had a mod where you could do that that I played a little bit at one point. Okay. I'm gonna get oil going, but I want to... I want to go... I want to clear out these... Oh god, these things are big. I want to clear these two places out. Because I want to stop them attacking over here so much. So, can I... If I grab this... And get copper plates and steel plates, I can make... I can make a bunch of armor piercing rounds, which is a big increase in damage. And actually, there's some. There's some here I can grab too. But 
Steel. Steel and copper. Some more copper. So let's get some armor piercing rounds and go for round two. Go for round two here. And we have some, we can grab some of these guys. Armor piercing rounds are like double the damage or something. They're, a, they're, they, they do a lot. Uh, I have all these here. So more copper or steel, I think. How far am I from engine tech? Uh, I have engine tech. I, again, just need oil, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure I just need oil. Pretty sure if I look in here, I see engines, because I have the car unlocked, I think. Uh, yeah, engine unit, at least, is unlocked. All right, uh, laser, I don't have blues yet. Advanced oil processing, so we're gonna need to get blues before advanced oil processing, but. Uh, could do landmines. Okay. Don't need oil for engines or the car, really? Uh, iron gear wheels, steel plates, and pipes, okay. Um, well, do we want to build our car, then? Do I have the ability to do that, or did I not unlock that yet? Okay, I just need the eight engine units. Which... Um, yeah, I could... I could actually get this started. Problem is I'm making all these uh, armor-piercing rounds manually right now, which is gonna take a year. Okay, all right. Um, let me do this. This, and I'm gonna put these guys here. All right, maybe I uh, put the stuff I need. Iron gear wheels I can grab, pipes I have some. I can get this started. I can just make a quick little thing here. Uh, I need eight engine units. So if I just make a quick assembler here. Here, engine units. Where are they? Where are you, engine units? There you are. Pipes, iron gear, wheels, and steel plates. Just get a couple chests here. And chest. One, two. How do I control click that? Control right click. There's a way to stop all your stuff, right? Oh my god. How do I undo this? Control click, shift click. There it is. Shift click. Okay. Okay. And this. Get all three things in here we need. Which is steel plates. Um iron gear wheels. I need to go grab, and the other thing is pipes. Pipes, 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 pipes. Where are you, pipes? Where are you? There you are. And I got no iron. Okay. Let me make a bunch of pipes. There. Grab some more iron gear wheels there. Okay. Yeah, engines can't be craft handed anyway. Uh, hand crafted anyway, yeah. Okay. And then there. Okay. And then there. And then there. There, we'll get them started. Cool. And then get back to making our ammo. And then. Get like 200 rounds. That should be plenty because armor piercing rounds are a lot stronger. Rand 118 is laying pipe on stream. Is that is that dirty? 
I don't know if that's supposed to be dirty or what. Dirty or what? Okay. Oh, gosh. They're doing work over here. My nose, though. They're doing work. Good job turret staying alive, I guess. Let's put some, uh... Come on. Armor piercing rounds in here. Okay. Did you set up a small production facility for pierce ammo too? Yeah, well, pierce ammo is being made for my military pack, so I can go pick some up off of there too. And I, I did grab some off of there. That's a big one, man. Okay. Uh, more repair packs. Okay. Okay. What? Where? Oh, come on, man. How, how? Where? Where are you coming from, man? Like one random biter. Ugh. Where is this guy? There he is. Where the hell did you come from, man? This is only just destroying belts, nothing really important. Still, come on. Hell are you even coming from? I swear, I swear, man, I swear. Um said an underground belt was killed. Where's the un uh the some something got messed up. Where is it? Ah, that's what this one was. Okay, so it should be this. We got dudes down there. Okay, they're attacking over here. Okay, um... Let me just set up a couple more turrets around the base before I go out. I can't keep having to cut, run back every time. Um, and like I said, I got... We got these, um... These armor-piercing rounds, so I'm just gonna kind of grab a bunch of these off of the, off of the thing here. Okay. So I don't have any turrets over on this side, so let's do like one here. Here. Can't run back every time that's the car. Well, yeah. I guess I can check. I guess I can check if the car, if the engine part's already done. If they are, I can make it now. I don't care if this is like, looks good at all. I just want this to... At least, uh, Stop them from destroying important stuff. Okay, how many bullets do you have? You have plenty of ammo. I just don't know how it got through, which, which, where, where it came through. So that covers that. Let's go another one like right here. Frickin' aliens, man. Frickin' aliens. Okay, let's go grab, grab some extra walls. Uh, shift. A couple of those. I have some extra ammo here I can grab, or the normal ammo here. Okay. All right. Uh, did you get those 11 engine parts yet? Where were those? Where was I making those? Over here. So if they're ready and I can just build a car, that is pretty good. Although, it, it can be hard to drive the car without bumping into stuff. Okay, we actually do have enough. So the car is... Hey, I can just make it. Nice. 
Uh, there we go. Okay. Don't you need fuel for the car? Uh, it's coal, right? You can use coal to fuel the car. Coal-fueled car. I think you can use coal to fuel the fuel the car. Now we got more turrets coming too. I'll right click these guys. Okay, all right, frickin' biters for days, man. This is gonna become an extermination stream, I feel like. Get exterminated on, bros. All right, we got ourselves a car. Where you at, car? Oh. Whoa, they're coming from up there? Whoops. Okay. I don't know. Hmm. Cole. Oops. Not what I want. Uh, and then, yeah, you can put ammo in this. All right. Uh, let's do... Yeah, let's do this. This. And bullets here. Okay. How do I get in this thing? Click it. Right click it. No. How do you get in the car? Oh, come on. How do you get in? Can anybody tell me? Enter. Thank you. Oh, God. Frickin' in my base. How are they getting here? Where are they coming from, man? Enter. It's already taken damage. Where are they? How are you getting here? How are you getting here and just ending up in this space right here? I don't understand. I guess I put a turret right here. I honestly have no idea where they're coming from in here. Okay. Well, hopefully that will... Wherever they're coming from, hopefully that will stop them. Okay. It's not running anything, so I don't want to take damage here. Okay. Let's go frickin' kill some bugs, man. Kill some damn bugs. Ooh, look at us zoom zoom, though. What do we take damage from? I guess we must have hit a tree or something. I don't know. Okay. Um, so... Okay, I don't know how good this is. How well we can, like, just kite and kill with this thing. I don't know if it's better to do this or to use my turrets like I was doing before. Oh yeah, it gets slowed down, that's right. The poison slows it down, so this is... ...not the best way to, like... ...clear out the nest, I don't think. This is no tank. Okay. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, turrets, do your thing. A couple turrets here set up so that these guys can cover me as I run back to them. Please tell me you weren't getting spit on. Yeah. Why well, do the work with the... with the armor-piercing rounds. There we go. Nice. It's viable, can be risky if you aren't careful, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be the best way to do it. Let's use the car. You're dead! Okay, move you guys a little bit closer.
Good. Kills those things really quick, which is great. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, they are starting to spawn some spitters. Spawning some damn spitters. this a different way I just uh, it doesn't work that well when the ammo automatically goes into there I think I need to get this gun off my bar I think that might fix it I take this put this here if I pick you up there we go I can go two one control that's what I can do go Pistol, you're worthless, pistol. Why you gotta be so worthless? I kill your base. All your base are belong to bullets. So I can go two, one, control. Two, one, control. As I sit in the frickin' crud. Two, one, control. There we go. Blasted. Yeah, the armor piercing around so much better. Nice. Get blasted, bugs. Get blasted. Okay. Let's go clear out that one. And then maybe we even go clear out the ones down below on the left side of our base. Because there are... I don't know if they're spreading or... If we're just... Our, our uh, radar is letting us see more of them or what, but you know, just over time the pollution makes them more aggressive and evolve and all that stuff. They get rid of that pink alien goo that you collect? Yes. Yes, I think they did. I have a car. <laughs> I do have a car. I forgot I had a car. Yeah, you used to have to use those to make alien research packs. But that's since the last time I played it, that hasn't been a thing. I have a car. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> so I don't stupidly run around like I just stupidly, stupidly did. Alright, let's see here. Alright, Bugs, where are you at? Where are you at? There you are. I ram into trees over here. Oh gosh. Okay. This one looks a little smaller, I think. We'll use the car to clear out the first wave of them. No, that's not what I wanted to do. I will say the controls on the vehicles have never been... Never thought were super good. They're okay, but... There's no F1... Racing simulator. Okay. So, let's see here, two, one, control. Ah, but I don't want to take, I don't want to put all of them in there, so I need to do this. Two, one, shift, uh, control, right click, there we go. Two, one, control, there we go. Put your car in your pocket when you get out of it like Ant-Man. <laughs> okay. Sure, I'll do that. And it burns! There we go. It burns, it burns! Don't you kill my turrets. Those turrets are my boys.
Whew. All right, we got all the spawning things, just the just the worms. Can I catch fish here? How do I catch fish? Do I just click on them? Right click. There we go. See the fish. How do I eat a fish? Where are you, fish? Uh, how do I eat them? I click on myself. There we go. Left click on myself. Cool. We got some healing. Throw it like a grenade. Okay. Uh, except for his walking like he has a nugget in the back pocket. He does remind me of Ant-Man. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. That must have been where those other guys are coming from over there. Okay. I don't think I want to go that far out. Hopefully anything that spawns over there will... Well, maybe that's where they're coming from that they're sneaking in here. But I think I have some defenses there. I think I want to clear out these nests. Yeah, I have I have a nice water wall here. Got a decent water wall here. Clearing out that will hopefully stop some of that. I do want to work on oil, but I think what I want to do is maybe clear out these three nests and then we'll probably take our final break before finally starting on oil. Uh, where are you? Car, here you are. Oh, all the coal was in there. And this. Okay, and enter. There we go. Uh, I guess I could set up a little bit of a choke. Yeah, that's probably not a bad idea. Maybe put a turret there. Only thing I don't like about it is I'd have to, you know, come and replenish ammo fairly regularly. And I don't really have enough ammo to do that currently, so... I'm gonna not do that right now. Let me see where they would come from if they come up here and place a turret closer to my base so I can fill, fill it with ammo a little easier. Somewhere around here. Yeah, it looks like this is where they're hitting right here. I bet you some are occasionally like bypassing this. Probably what's happening. Okay, let's go pick up some more ammo and let's go clear out a couple more bases of biters. Oh, gosh. Driving through your base is uh, a little scary. Don't want to kill your... Kill your uh, things. Your uh, Kill your power, power poles and stuff. Okay, grab that ammo. What's up, Watch Snivy? No way what? No way we're playing Factorial? This is what you think it is? This is Factorio. Yeah, uh, I mean, it, it is if that's what you think this is. If you think it's something else, then it's not that thing. But it is definitely that thing. The Factorio thing. Yeah, we are not making walls fast enough for our military packs. But we have a pretty good backlog of them. It's probably stone, again, not being produced quickly enough. That's okay. Heck yes! Yeah, heck yes, it's some Factorio. Heck yes, it is. Alright, so we're gonna go take out these guys, and then we're, we're gonna see how we're doing on time. It'll probably be about time to take our final break, and then we're gonna start oil. I have to figure out where I want to get the oil, oil from. Because I most likely don't want to use trains for oil like I did last time. Which means making lots and lots of, lots and lots of pipes. Oh my god, there's a wall. There's a freaking stone thing there. Okay. Okay. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, them being at the bottom sucks. This thing in the way, so I'm gonna go this side and go from the left here. Okay, so we got two. Oh god. One, shift, no, control, right click, right click, click. There we go. 
Now we got our, all our ammo in place. Okay. Kill the worms. Get blasted, sir. Small nest here. Uh, small nest, but of spitters. Are you making enough AP ammo to upgrade all the turrets to them yet? You don't really want to be using regular ammo anymore. Not really. I would need probably a dedicated... Um... Uh... Armor-piercing round production, so I don't take away from my, um... Uh, military packs, so... Again, something I could set up. Uh, maybe I will... You know what I could do? I could probably convert my normal ammo creation, throw in steel and copper, and just turn that into um, armor piercing rounds. Probably the best way to do it. Ugh. That's in range of this guy. There we go. Nice. All right. Cool. So you're making a non-fully automated one, i.e. you just place stuff in boxes and leave it alone for a bit. What do you mean? A non-fully automated one of what? Of, uh, piercing ammo? Yeah, that's what I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna convert my normal ammo into piercing ammo. When I go back, I'll do that. I should have time to do a quick, quick conversion. The only issue with that will be, um... will be uh, where I place it. I don't think works super well with our bus, but I think it'll be okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So we go control right, right, click. There we go. Pair all these guys. There we go. Now we should be good to do this. Very nice. Okay, I can slowly move these guys forward to one control. Two, one control. Two, one control. Click there. Limiting output boxes can be a similar way to limit resource usage. Yeah, yeah. I currently have my ammo, uh, my normal ammo producer gated to like only like three stacks of it or something. So I can I can totally just do something similar with armor piercing round, just what I should have probably already done. Okay. Lots of frickin' spitters, man. There we go. Yeah, you eat my armor piercing bullets. Eat them. Nice. Uh, let's have a fish. What's up, squishy doodle doo? -doo? Okay, let's see here. Where is my car? Where did I park? I always forget. Disney Mickey Mouse E. There it is. Mickey Mouse E. All right, so let's go get this little one, and we have dealt with well. All the ones, we keep revealing more, but we will have dealt with hopefully most of the ones that are actually attacking us right now. I'm hopeful anyway. Dude, where's my car? There you go. Nice 90s reference right there. Now you got late 90s or early 2000s. Nice Ashton Kusher uh, reference. Alright, let's uh, aggro these guys. Was that Ashton Kusher and the guy who plays uh, Stifler from American Pie or something like that? I think of the two guys in that movie. Okay. Uh, two, one, control, right click, two, two, one, control. Go now. We're pretty much set up in place here. There we go. That should work. So we have a fallback point. You guys cover me. Cover me. 
Don't let them see the whites of my eyes. Wait, that's not how that goes. But kill them. Kill them before they kill me. Big old biter. B.O.B. -B. Call them Bobs. Big old biters. I don't actually call them that, though. All right, there we go. The 90s was 10 years ago. Fight me. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I'm not almost 40. Fight me. Uh, whoops, I think I might be senile, senile because of how close to 40 I am. Using the car's gun might also make the make, killing the biters easier. It shoots faster and further. Oh, really? Uh, how long am I playing this run? This is only my second... Oh, I don't know how long I'm going to be playing it until I probably launch to space, I'm guessing. But this is only my second day. We started on Tuesday, so this is only our... I mean, it says in the title, day two. So, day two of this current run through, anyway. It's safer to not fight crazy people. It's true. It's true. It is safer. God, these trees. We need tank to drive through the trees, I guess, huh? Or a flamethrower to burn them all down. Burn it down, burn it, burn it, burn it down. Alright, so we got about 10 minutes before we need to take our last, last break. So let's, um, let's quickly... Oh, gosh. Let's convert our normal arm... Uh, normal... Ammo producing thing to an armor piercing one. We can produce armor piercing rounds and have those available. Because we definitely are at a point where we want our turrets using those. So let's park here. All right, remember everybody, this is Donald Duck D. Triple D, Donald Duck D, that's where we parked. Okay, so there. All right, let's see here. So currently we're doing it here. So all I need to do is add steel plus copper. Um, Steel plus copper, can I do that pretty easily here? Yeah, we got steel there, split off, split off one from here. Right before the balancer, that should work, okay. Um, yes, so if I have it go like right. Um. <laughs> yeah, basically we don't need this. We'll put a... Put a guy here. There, this will be armor-piercing rounds. Throw all of these guys into here, where are the normal ones I have. Okay. Nice, physical projectile damage is good. Wow, that's expensive. Um, but I guess we're not gonna be working on anything. Ooh, I'll we'll get weapon shooting speed, that's fine. Get that going, so steel and copper, right? Steel and copper. And a chest. Uh, might as well put it right by these guys. Might as well do it. Okay. There. That will allow for this. Alright, I just need to get steel and copper on the thing here. So... Oh, that will be really easy. If I just do a thing like this. This. There we go. Uh, this to here, this to here. Almost perfectly in line. This to here. Again, totally temporary. I'm sure I'll, I'll clean this up eventually one day. Uh, actually, I should probably do fast insert there. All right, we got those guys going. Um, I'm not crazy. The friend who no one else can see says I'm totally sane. <laughs> if I remember right, you want a multiple AP running out of one regular ammo since it's slower. Yeah, well, it, was, it was one to three. Um, so if I wanted to do this, um, uh, although I don't know that I care about optimizing this because this is just something that's going to be building off time that I can come and get. I just come and contaminate the brick line with steel. Did I? 
Are you sure? Oh, did I did I get it? Did I mix in a little bit of steel somewhere? Are you sure? Unless it's hiding underneath one of these, I'm not seeing it. Uh, I don't see any steel on that line. Unless you're talking about a different brick line. Just a few of them? Okay, where is it? God, it's so hard to tell. Steel and brick look very similar. Check near the wall build. The wall build, okay. Oh, the walls are over here. Um. Ah, it was a little bit of copper and steel. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Good eye. Yeah, good call. Good call. So I think we got that fixed. All right. Cool. Yeah, I must have got split off there. Hopefully I got anything over here. Some split. I think I got it all. Okay. Alrighty, so uh, we're going to work on oil next, but now that I have this armor piercer rounds going, man, our pollution is really spreading out because we're in the desert. I didn't even know there were different biomes that you could start in this game. I might need to uh, do another playthrough where I plan a different biome at some point. So uh, I'm going to save. I'm going to take my last break of the day, and we're going to start on oil because oil is going to be... Oil can get... Pretty freaking complicated. And uh, I know that with oil, you create plastic, but I think you need to have access to your bus for oil as well. Is that right? I think you do. So I'm probably going to need to do something about, like, get crude, crude oil out and then put the oil on the... Uh, I need to look at the bus. What, what liquids do you want on the bus? I think it's, like, lubricant and something else. So you might not actually need oil on the on the the main bus. I think it's lubricant and something else that you want. Just needs coal for that. I'm actually a little worried about my coal because this is the only coal I have and it is powering everything. And I don't see... The only other coal I see is way down here. Maybe I want to do it down here. Do I want to maybe do... Set up my oil over here? Because we have a whole crap ton of coal and we have oil right next to each other. Lube and sulfuric acid are good to have on there. Okay. Yeah, that sounds right. I'm wondering if maybe I want to set it up down here. And then we pipe the things from here over there. Call only needs for plastic. Well, yeah, but plastic is used by so much that you need a decent amount. You prefer belting sulfur yourself. Ah, belting, which is... Um, you belt the, sulf the sulfur and then create the acid at a... Um, Whatever it's called, a refinery or whatever it is. All right, well, we're going to figure that out in a second. We're not going to do that yet. Uh, we're going to take a little bit of a break. Just uh, take my last break so I can use the restroom. Again, I'm going to AFK. Hope things don't die. And quick 60 second word of ads. Thank you all so much for watching. If there is anybody new to the stream, I hope you were enjoying the Factorio. Always so much fun to play this game and never-ending stuff to do. So AFK a bit. When we come back, we'll work on oil. Y'all rock. See you in a bit, my friends.